Dear Miriam, I'm in love with my teacher. He says he loves me too, at least when we're in bed together he does. But when we're at school he completely ignores me. Now my dad's found out and gone off his head. He says my beloved is a pervert and he's going to go to the Board of Governors and make sure he gets the sack. What should I do? Yours, sad, of Emma Dean. Oh dear, dear. You are a sorry case. I think this teacher's taking you for a ride. Even if your dad thinks you're a slapper, there's not really much hope for you, is there? Why don't you do your family a favour and move out and then get a life? Oh, <laughs> Miriam. Before we go, I need to ask you a favour. Mm -hmm. Quite a big one. It might take a couple of hours. Oh, is this Ned's idea? Get me out the house. No, no, no. It's mine. We've got someone coming to see the cottage tomorrow. Oh. I need a hand getting it straight. Would you mind? Oh, not at all. What, first thing? Oh, no. No, no, not first thing. Because I am taking you to the wool <coughs> pack tonight. Oh, are you? Yep. Terry's having a few drinks to celebrate two years in Emmerdale. Jack's babysitting, so I'll pick you up at seven. No arguments. I wasn't even going to start. Just for a bit, OK? We'll see you later. Seven. Right. Thanks, Jan. Bye. Bye, Victoria. This is true. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Home farm? Um, no, but she's just here. I'll put her on. Who's speaking, please? <coughs> the hang up? Weird. One of Frank's spies, I suppose. Um, Kim, I never got a chance to say I'm sorry for telling Frank where you're taking James. Oh, forget it. He'd have found me somehow or other. Come on, out with it. Why do you always make things so difficult for yourself? Why can't you toe the line just once in a while? It's just my way. That's no excuse. You don't know me very well, Sophie. Well, I know you better than you think. When you've had a life like mine, you learn how to fight. I just never learnt how to stop. Doesn't make you happy, though. I hope one day you will stop. I hope... Oh, I don't know. You'll find peace. Me? No, never. <laughs> Not until I'm pushing up the daisies. Hiya. All right. Is that a genuine lying, or were you just trying to avoid me? Terry, I am sorry. I don't want to fall out with you. Could have fooled me. You're right, you know. I haven't involved you with the family stuff, and I didn't even know I was doing it. I'll make it up to you. Tom. So, am I invited to your party? Indeed you are, Bill. On this side of the bar. Ah, you said you'd cover my shift, remember? So I've decided best to get everything out in the open. Oh, don't tell me there's kids as well, or I'll give another one of them to match. Oh, steady. Kids, me and Barry, you must be joking. No, I've decided <coughs> I want you to meet him. Let the dog see the rabbit sort of thing. See for yourself, there's not going on. No, Char. You what? Are. But if you don't meet him, you could be imagining all kinds, torturing yourself, and I won't be happy till your mind's at rest. So, this afternoon, my place, what do you say? Aye, all right. I thought about asking Betty, but to be honest, I don't think Joseph likes her very much. Am I hearing you right? What about his dad? Chris? Well, why can't he babysit? Well, I don't want to ask him. Why not? Well, I don't want to ask him for anything if I can help it. So you'd rather stay in than ask Chris to do his share? Then don't ask, tell. Tell him you deserve a break and he's got to be round your place at 8 o'clock, on the dot. <laughs> And shall I tell him that you said so? Home farm. Kim Tate speaking. Hello. Who's this? It, it's Jan. Jan Glover. Um, is Frank there? No. I was ringing to see how you are. Fine. 
Only Frank was so angry, I, I, I didn't know what he might do. Yes, he's uh, frightening when he gets like that. I, uh, let's put it this way, I live to tell the tale. Uh, thank you for ringing. It's really kind. Oh, uh, and the, the little fella's all right? Yes, he's wonderful, as ever. Maybe see you around sometime? I hope so. Bye. Barry, this is Marlon from Butch. Boo! We've met. They thought I were a ghost. We didn't. Ha, he fell for it then. Yeah. He fell for it. Mandy. Mandy. And this is Zachariah. Call me Zach. <laughs> All right then. Right. Nice meeting you. Just a minute. Barry's got something to say. Have I? Oh, she has her pigs, and I have my interests. And the pigs... Aye, but apart from all that, we don't see much of each other, do we? No. No, we don't. Right. That's good enough for me. Sociable kind of fella, isn't he? Chris? Hi. Can I tempt you? No, for me, Frank. It's not a social call, unfortunately. Uh, from our friends at the Inland Revenue inviting us to tea. What? They'd like to meet the board. We're under investigation. For what? I can't be sure exactly. You know, these people carry on. It's like trying to get blood from a stone, but from the little they have said. Oh, I suspect it could be the Zurich account. Thomas, how are you? Kim. You seem surprised to see me. Well, I'm still here, much as Frank wishes otherwise. Was that a new car I saw? Oh, uh, yes. I thought I didn't recognise it. <laughs> Business must be good. Sorry, can I get you a drink? I've already offered. So, what brings you here? And not that we're not pleased to see you. Oh, well, I want to call a meeting of the board. We're not due one, are we? Is something wrong? Nothing that concerns you. Is that right, Chris? What? Well, should it concern me, as part owner of the golf course and director of the company? Yes. Yes, it should. If you're sure. I'd like us to meet up as quickly as possible, Frank. All right. Tonight, 7 o'clock, in here. I'll ring Zoe. Mm. Well, I'm free. Uh, come on. What is the panic? What what have the revenue got on this account? Which account? Uh, the Harrison account. Harrison account? Harrison. Why does that ring a bell? Well, the, on the surface, scotch mist. There's nothing in the books or in the invoices to flag it up as anything different from the rest. Well, that's what worries me. Phil Harrison. Wasn't he that landscape contractor you used to deal with, Frank? Collapsed with a heart attack. <laughs> Poor guy died. But his account lived on for a undeclared revenue. Now, where did that money wind up again? Some slush fund in Zurich, wasn't it? Do you remember telling me? Used to pass for pillow talk in our day. How many years ago was that? Eight, nine? Six. Six years. Imagine that. All those invoices from poor dead Phil. All that money draining out of our account and into our other account. Oh, dear. Not a good day for us directors. Well, see you at seven, then. Tell him, Chris. He's going to give himself another heart attack. Well, that's probably part of the plan. Dad, will you just sit down and calm down, please? Tell me it's my paranoia, son. She can't have blown the whistle to the revenue. I don't know what she's up to. What has she got to gain? She's a director herself, for God's sake. She's going to have to face the music with the rest of us. And I thought I had it all sewn up. I was going to kick her out, tear up our agreement and take my chances in the divorce court. Been worth it just to see the back of her. Take these. Damn it! 
She's cutting off her nose to spite her face. You know what it is, don't you? She thinks she's got nothing left to lose. Yeah, but what she's picked up over the years, that could ruin us. I'll swing for her first, son, and I mean it. She's not going to get away with this. We'll see whose nerve fails first. Hey, lads! It's anything, Chair. Nice one. Uh, three double brandish, please, love. Yeah. You can get your own. <laughs> it's his anniversary. Two years at Woolley. Two years? You get less for manslaughter. Drunk and disorderly. Ah, which I will be working here around the clock. No oh, chance would be a fine thing. It's coming. Well, the gang's all here, then. Yeah. <laughs> I've been thinking about that Barry Uncle Zach all day. Oh, it makes me skin crawl. Barry? Yeah, I know he was an art creep, weren't he? What has she ever seen him? He's a total sleazeball. Barry who? You've got nothing to worry about, Uncle Zach. There's no competition. I haven't told the kids yet, but the person that's coming to see the house tomorrow is Miss Cullen. What, from school? <laughs> They'll probably booby-trap the place. Oh, well, she's that bad. Well, put it this way. She'll be marking you on your dusting. Well, I shall want a gold star, or I'm sending my man round. <laughs> oh, Roy! Hi. Hi there. Uh, have you seen anyone? Like who? I don't know, anyone. Biff and Linda not being here. Well, I'm, I've not seen them, love, no. Come and sit down and have a drink. No, I'm going to shoot off. Where are you going to? I don't know, but I won't be late, though. I'll see you later, yeah? Bye. Ja. Oh, come on, Jan. He's just a kid. He doesn't want to be seen with us two old bags. He'd rather be with anyone. Uh, anyone but me. No, Lisa, then, tonight, Uncle Zach. Hi. No, nah, no, nah, she's uh, having a quiet night in. With Barry. <laughs> so, did you say he's a widower, then, this Zach? No. Divorced? Good as. What happened to the wife? Hmm? His wife, where is she? Ireland. So, he kept the house, then? Hmm. Much land? Few acres. He'll be attached to it, though. Not especially. No happy memories and that. Not as I've noticed. I wouldn't fancy it myself. Houseful like that. You get no peace. You're the same, aren't you? Aye. Uh, Are we right? I'm shattered, Barry. It is Wednesday. Oh, go on then. But remember, I've got to be up early in the morning. You and me both. So. Sorry, I'm late. So we. What's the worst-case scenario? If we are to cooperate, we're looking at a penalty payment plus the interest on the unpaid tax. Going back six years. We could end up paying double the original tax bill. And if we don't cooperate? Prosecution. Just a minute. What do you mean, cooperate or don't cooperate? It's quite simple, Zoe. We throw our hands up and say, sorry, Mr Taxman, it's a fair cop, and he sends us away with a slap wrist and a, and a promise not to smuggle cash tax-free again. So, the Revenue are right to investigate this. Do excuse my sister, she's a little dense at times. Don't patronise me. Then grow up. You knew the score, you were happy to take the profits. You can't wash your hands of it now. Wash my hands? I was never even consulted. I'm taking no part in this. Nice try, Zoe. But as officers of the company, you're a... Uh, sorry, we're equally and severally liable. So what do you expect to gain from all this? Me? This has got your hallmark written all over it. You want to point the finger, Thomas? Point it at her. She's the one who leaked this to the revenue. Oh, don't be absurd. Who else had access to the information? Who else was twisted enough to exploit it? Round this table? <laughs> don't make me laugh. Every one of them would stab you in the back. Oh, ignore her. I don't hear Chris protesting. Why is that, I wonder? You think you're bigger than the business, don't you? Well, you're not. I work my fingers to the bone for this company and I'm not going to let you wreck it. I'd shoot you first. Oh, this is ridiculous. I agree. Let's take a break for a moment. Let people cool down. Don't bother. You started this without me. You don't need me to finish it. You too. Your son's with. It's awesome. You've disappointed me. I thought you were going to tell him. You know how Frank hates secrets. You breathe a word, and I will tell him, do you hear? <laughs> you two kids play nicely now. Frank? Leave them. It's got to be sorted. Keep out of it. This isn't business. This is Dad versus Kim, round 110. This could cost us thousands, hundreds of thousands. Forget the money. Forget Kim and her pathetic revenge. Put your son first for a change. You're late. What are you looking at? 
Oh, yes, that's right. Take it out on her. Come on, Sophie, I need a drink. Oh, and that'll make everything all right. Don't kid yourself. They don't need you. You're mixing with the professionals now. Any, uh, any chance of karaoke tonight? Oh, give it breaks me night off. Oh, give us a song. Ah, right, go on, Cherry. Do old Shep. No, do Jealous Guy. Oh, not on Chin Melody. It's been romantic. What about Torn Between Two Lovers? <laughs> Cheers, I need this. Cheers. So, you turned up then? In a foul mood. <laughs> Is there any other? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't be. Trouble at Mill? Dad and Kim are at each other's throats again. When aren't they? Oh, I hope they don't wake James up. Well, they wouldn't care if they did. Ah, oh, stuff them. They're always the same. Stuff the lot of them. <laughs> oh, that's fighting talk. That's drinking talk. Other blokes would have got really sick of this by now. What? This? <sighs> My mum, Dad, Roy. Most fellas would be down the pub with their mates. What mates? We didn't stand a chance, did we? I want to start again. Can we? No need to. I want to. Oh. <sighs> no, tell him to go away. Tell him we're on his honeymoon. How are you alright, Lynn? Good. All right, Matt. All right, Roy. <sighs> I thought it might come to your beer. Yeah, cheers. Right, well, I'll get some glasses then. No, I might as well stick them in the fridge. Right. Oh, nearly got stuck with my mum and Sarah in Wolfpack. What I need up there, having. <laughs> Two years might not seem like a long time, but let me tell you, a lot can happen. Oh, I'm sure. And why? Women. <laughs> That's why. No, no, I came here with Brit thinking I were a one-woman man. But she soon changed all that. Then Tina came along. No, don't get me wrong. She were a lovely lass. She still is. Isaac, whatever she is. I mean, let's face it, I mean, she's not the kind of girl to give a man an easy life. I'll second that. No, what's wrong with her? She's like a mother. <laughs> well, no, take you. I mean, you're a young man. Uh, plenty of money. You think you're in control of your life? Nah. <laughs> no. No, no, you start seeing Rachel. I start seeing Viv, you know, it's all a bit of fun. Then the next thing you know, you're in each other's pockets. And she's leaving her old man for you. Just like that. You wake up one morning, your money's gone, the fun's stopped. And you've picked up a second-hand family. Not to mention a stiff neck. Eh? From kipping on the couch. You see what I mean? <laughs> Apparently you're all to blame. Oh, for what? For all the trouble in the world. Oh, that oh. figures. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm going to cause a bit of trouble on my own. When? Tonight. I'm going to ring Chris and tell him that I'm having such a good time that I can't possibly tear myself away from you. What? Ever? Well, till the morning anyway. Hey, Mr Turner. Have you seen me dad? He's gone. Well, gone where? How on earth would I know? Flaming hell, it's his round! Have to get that haircut soon, won't we? They will take you for that, I wonder. Sophie? Is she still here? Don't wake up now. Don't open your eyes. Be a good boy, James. Promise? You be a good boy for Mummy. Zach, what the hell are you 
you playing at? Oh, I think I'll have a drink. Care to join me? Care to uh, live a little? It's your last drink in this house. Better make it a big one, then. Now, let me guess. You've spoken to your solicitors and you want me out, first thing. Well, pardon me for yawning, Frank, but for a self-made man, you're all talking trousers. You prefer yours without. <laughs> Very good. No, I prefer my men to act like men and stick to their word. Like Glover did? When he swore eternal love and then went off and married Cathy? But he came back to me. So you say. Maybe it was one of your delusions. God, you've had enough of them. Sabotaging your own business. Torturing the Glovers with a grandson that isn't even theirs. God, you've hit rock bottom. I'm going to have you sectioned. You think I'm mad? I know it. You've really lost it, Frank. Not from where I'm standing. So try it. Lock me up. Keep tabs on James. Send him to a nice school where he can learn to be a nice boy. See how far it gets you. Sounds good enough to me. And while you're at it, you can stop the tide coming in. He'll grow up. He's my son. You'll never be able to control him like the other two. You won't be here to stop me. It's in his genes. He'll bite back. <laughs> you used to like that in me, remember? I was a fool. They used to think I was just some trophy wife to drape across your arm. But you knew. Under that sparkly frock, I had more guts than any man you'd ever met. It used to turn you on, Frank. You're sick. You're a bad mother, a danger to your son. And the state you're in, you're probably a danger to yourself. I'm a danger to you. Postnatal depression? Grief over Glover? It could be a million and one things. Grief? He saved our baby's life. Have you forgotten that? No. And would it have mattered if he hadn't? A man like you could always bought another one. You little... <laughs> Go on. Do it. Prove you're still alive. Is that what he used to do? You... <sighs> you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. Who will you fight with then? You'll just shrivel up and die. The day you leave, I can start to live again. Don't bank on it. Oh, I mean it. You're going. You've lost everything. Everything? By everything you mean money. Your home, your son, the million pounds. There's more to life than money, Frank. Oh, come again? I didn't quite hear you right. I said... There's more to life, and that's why you'll never beat me. I already have. I've made sure you won't. I'll have the last word, Frank. I always have, and I always will. <laughs>